Is Happy it Friday? Friday? It's Friday. Yes. Yay. Yes. Uh, Laurelie Gayer's here, you guys. From Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Uh, we love her. She's here. We're going to talk about her. Talk to her. Gonna, let's talk <laughs> First, about we're going to talk about her. Let's talk then about we'll talk her. Then we'll talk about her again. <laughs> That's the plan. We got it. Yeah. So, uh, how are you doing? I'm good, but I haven't seen you all week. I know. Where you I, been? Well, I, did, you know, I had to go to L.A. I, NBC flew me out to L.A., which was very so nice. Fancy. For holi- for uh, Holiday Inn. No. For Holiday Inn Live. No, it's no. called Hairspray. It's a different age. Hairspray Live. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of funny because it was like a two-hour event, but it took three days of my week. Oh, yeah. You know, because like flying. It was, anyway, so, um, but yeah, I got to see all the sets. I got to go to the NBC Universal lot. Cool. Uh, which is really neat. And actually, the where the clock tower is from Back to the Future is now Baltimore. You can see Amazing. The, yeah. That's what they do. They recycle. Sure. You know, they recycle sets. Absolutely. So um, I got to see. I did a. That is a, Back to the Future for you. I, t- I took a <laughs> bunch of pictures of storefronts. I did a, a little feature on the site about cool. all the different cool um, people from the history of Hairspray and John Waters that they're honoring a little bit. I got to see the Corny Collins set. Uh, which is kind of, I want to show people that. You also got to see the stars. That's the important part. Oh, yeah. And then I interviewed all the stars. Um, All of them. All of them. And it was exhausting, but really fun. It was super fun. And I had a boxed lunch. Thanks for sharing. It was nice. And then, also, because I was in L.A., Mm -hmm. and you know I love Merrily We Roll Along, which we We just talked about. We love Merrily We Roll Along. Just talked about this when Lonnie Price was here last week, Mm -hmm. on Monday, Monday, before I left. Right. And uh, so Michael Arden... Tony nominated director Michael Arden Spring Awakening is now doing Mer- Merrily We Roll Along at the Annenberg Center of Performing Arts in Beverly Hills, which is gorgeous. There's a Never little YouTube there. clip of it. There's like a little bit of it where they describe it, where Michael Arden is interviewed about it and the three stars who is in it. It again, it's how's well. You doing? tell me you I saw the video. Well, I did, but I'm not really good with the whole. <laughs> Aaron Lazar, Donna Vivino, and Wayne Brady Wayne are the Brady. are the three um, leads. Three leads, and, yeah. And it sounds like they have a really cool con. I got to see the set. They were teching when I was there. I, I got, I saw drunk Donna Vivino. I saw a little bit of drunk Mary Flynn. Uh, I got. Drunk Mary uh, Flynn, she said I wasn't Flynn. getting the full drunk Mary though. That was like a, I got like a partial attack. When you're in tech, you don't do the full out, right? Laura, she was like, marking yeah. it. Um, yeah, yeah, she was marking the drunk, but but she was good. She's a good drunk. Um, and Aaron Lazar, I love, and I'm super excited. I I'm really definitely hope going they put to that on the front of house. Good drunk. Paul anyway, I am excited for it, and I have my fingers crossed that Michael Arden is going to crack the code of this very difficult show. It is that I that I love. love. So anyway, anyway, so what's the news today? There's That's enough news. about me. Enough about you. There are some clips of Sweet Charity with Sutton Foster. Oh, yeah. you can see. They absolutely That's are. That's exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, all the yeah. The, we'll go. It opens Sunday. It opens on Sunday. And now and everyone's there. buzzing that it might be moving to Broadway. Now right. the, we always knew. I mean, it's first Sutton of all, Sutton Foster. Foster doing a classic musical comedy. Right. It's automatically maybe going to Broadway. And, yeah. and Kevin and McCollum, she, a Broadway producer, Kevin right. McCollum is right. attached in in a way, but New Group is producing it off Broadway. So anyway, the clips came out, mm-hmm. and it's opening Sunday. And happy opening, Sweet happy Charity. Happy opening to Sutton Foster and Sweet Charity. Um, we also have. Boys in the Band has been touring the UK. Is going to the West End in February. Has it been in the West End before? I don't. I don't know. You okay. always ask me questions. Sorry. I have no answer. Sorry. No. I'm sure someone will say yes or no. You were too um, busy watching the Mary Lou Roll Along video. I did name the three stars in the end. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Laura Lee. Thank you, Laura Lee. Um, <laughs> there are two new Hamilton mixtape tracks that are out today. Including. So what are they doing? They're just leaking them out. Is yeah. that what's happening? Yes. It's getting everyone excited. They're building the buzz. And then the Moana. Moana. There's a lot of Lynn stuff. There's Moana a lot, right? Music's so in, our, in the Hot Shot Gallery today, you can see Lynn Manuel the Miranda premiere. at the premiere. Red carpet, not red, blue, like the ocean. It was it was red at Hairspray, but it wasn't really a red carpet. They were, we were pretending like it was a red carpet. It was weird. Anyway, it was like a fake <laughs> also, red carpet. <laughs> all, well, there's also a picture from your red red carpet of Kristen Chenoweth and Ariana Grande yes. smooching it up, smooching it up. They were they were like this. They were attached at the hip. Broadway they, they did everything together. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. There's also a pantsless Barbara Streisand covering W Magazine. Oh, my God. Magazine. That photo's oh. crazy. Channeling some photo? Lane Stritch. Laura Lee's freaking out. We're all freaking. Oh. Freaking about Barbara. Barbara no pants. That's what we call her. Um, there's also the Mamma Mia tour cast doing Dancing Queen. That's on our oh, yeah. right now. Yeah, from the tour. From the tour. Hey, yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow might be a Broadway producer. That's what everyone's doing now. That's, that's the thing to do. It's a Go-Go's musical called 
Head Over Heels, and it's written by Jeff Witte, who's a Tony winner, because he wrote... Out of the queue. Correct. No, I always wanted to see Jeff Witte's... I'm starting to, me to change the subject. You I know, know what I'm going to say? Yes, I do. What, which one? Tells from the, the City. Tells from the City. You're obsessed Tells with Tells from it. the City musical. I'm obsessed. That might be a good. That may be a good role for Marley. But for now, the go goes. We got the beat. There you go. Maybe I don't know. Okay. She's distracting me. Just being. She's extremely distracting. In the best way. That's a good distraction. There's bad distraction. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, King Lear, starring Glenda Jackson, is circling, eyeing. Glenda Jackson. Yes. Oh wow. Yes. I haven't That's heard that name in a while. <laughs> she's at the Old Vic through December 3rd, if you want to hop on oh. over next week. Okay. That's quick. Mm-hmm. Hector Rivera's dressing room, something you might want to visit, something everyone wants to visit. He shows us around in my Up space. on your feet. On Up your feet. on your feet. Amelia. He's been, on, he's been on Live at Five. Mm-hmm. And he was on Fresh Face. Is that a show, Fresh Face? I, I'm not he sure was how on it. for that. He took his shirt off and everything. True. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Speaking of people taking their shirts off... Our culturalist question this week is, who's the sexiest man alive on Broadway right now, 2016? Because who's the real sexiest man alive? Not the real, but who's the People Magazine sexiest man alive? The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. And he's in Moana, isn't he? He is. Look at See that. See the connection? Tie it yeah, all we together. Just, boop, there's a little bow. So, go vote. Rank your top ten. Oh, I thought you said go vote. I was like, wait, that, 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 that ship sailed, honey. That's over for us. Go vote. Okay. And yeah. um, last year's sexiest man alive? Was Leslie Odom Jr. Oh, right. He went and on to win the win Tony. The Tony. So you were saying. I'm you're saying implying, there's power. There's power. You're implying that there's some power I'm not in this? implying. I'm actually saying oh, there's okay. power. Yeah. I'm are are, the, are Larley's um, Holiday Inn yeah. male co stars on the list? Of course. Okay, I'm just making sure. How could you? I mean, oh, right. I mean so, I know who she's So everyone can go vote for. Um, Corbin or Bryce or. Actor Rivera. Okay, I'm just you making know, sure. Whoever you like. Right. Whoever you like. Okay, all right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, <laughs> Have a good weekend, everyone. Everybody, uh, let's bring in Larley Geyer. She has coffee. She's ready to go. Can I bring coffee? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, We're doing oh, mugs. Oh, wow. Let's toast. Let's toast. Let's toast our coffee. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, peachy keen. So good to see so you. So good to see you. You're one of my favorites. Oh. You're always super fun. Oh, well, you know. You just have, you have, you just have a good vibe about you. Thanks. Do, do you have a hard time keeping that up? Like when you just have a crappy day, you're like, I'm Laura Lee Gay, I gotta turn it on a little bit. <laughs> no, I think I just play into that, like, I'm having a crappy day and people just don't really get it. Like, uh, people will be like, it's so good to see you. And I'm like, great, thanks. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then people are like, yeah. oh, but that's so funny. And I'm like, okay. You know. So, who's the sexiest man alive at Holiday Inn? Um, let's, oh, God, that's terrible. You can't do that. Can I you're say, right, that can wasn't I, right. Can I say Morgan Gal, the 12 year old? <laughs> is that wrong? No. You can't say that, can you? No. No, but he's super cute. Uh, yeah. Okay. But I guess you can't call a 12-year-old sexy. That's right. Oh, God. I, <laughs> things are going really well. You know, I, I think I know who it is. Who? He was in a he was the original cast of a classic musical. Okay. With Ellen Green. Oh, that's true. Lee Wilco, but he's not Lee there. Lee Wilco. Yeah, but he's not there anymore. Oh, he's not there anymore? No, but. She's the sexiest man alive when it opened. Yes. Who's playing yes. that role now? It's Danny Rotigliano who's great. Oh, he's great too. Yes. He's pretty sexy. Hey, yes. Danny. Hey, Danny. How you doing? Um, yeah, we did. Um, we actually worked together in uh, DC. So doing what? We did Funny Thing. Happened on the way to the farm. Funny Thing. That's yeah. a, that's what the showbiz people call it. Yeah, Funny Thing. Funny it's Thing. Too, it's too long. I've got things to do, places to go, people to see. I can't say the whole title. <laughs> How is that holiday and going? I really love the show. It's so much fun. Thanks. So um, fresh. It's like old timey Broadway, but. No, and I don't. This is not a, a, a diss to old timey Broadway. Never, uh-huh. never boring. No, mm-hmm. always fun. Like great cast. Always like modern enough and interesting yeah. enough. You know what I mean? Thanks. It, 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 yeah, I think we were trying to go for that. You know, it's yeah. it's it's really fun, and especially now with, um, you know, things are a little strange. You're trying to cheer this, people up. World. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's it's cheering people up, and I think like you said, like it's it's an old timey musical, so it's taking people back to this. An old time where things were simpler, and I, honestly, like I feel like grown men. It's just, for some reason, it's like the grown men that are always crying in that really? show. Oh, like White Christmas comes on. Oh. It's like not even like you hear like female sniffles. I don't know if you can distinguish like the sex of a sniffle, <laughs> but like let's a, just say you the can. sex of a sniffle. Yeah, that's, that's like the name of a title. That's the title <laughs> yeah. of a play or something. Maybe that'll be the title of my autobiography. The sex of a sniffle. The sex of a sniffle. <laughs> Autobiography of Laura Lee Gay. Laura Lee Gay, sorry. Yeah. No, but like, I just feel like <laughs> the tone of the sniffles yeah. is you're, you're masculine. Oh, stuff. like just a 
Sli- slightly else. embarrassed yeah. sniffle, like slightly like. Oh no, they go for it. Oh, they're just they're going. Like, they're like. I can't. Out. I can't do a male sniffle because I'm not male. But you know, like. I don't <laughs> sniffle. I just cry. You just cry. Yeah. But like White Christmas, I mean, the men out there are just little babies. So you've been uh, preparing for Christmas for months now. <laughs> you've yeah. been no, listening ever, to this song. Oh, yeah, now everyone like, else is just starting to catch up. I know. And they're also starting to get into Christmas. Like, you know, like back in September, like people would post things like they go to. And also, like, here's the thing. People always post this, like, come September and they're, like, going to the Macy's and, like, the Christmas decorations yeah. are going up. And people, like, Instagram, they're like, are you kidding me? And it's like, guys, it happens every year. Yeah, I know. It's not a surprise. Why are we still talking about it? So then, I so, landed at LAX though the other day, and I got off the plane. There was a big, air, a big tree, and I was like, I was yeah, like, why I, am I acting surprised? It's Thanksgiving. It's, yeah, anyway, it is, it it's is. time. But, but so you've anyway, been dealing with it since what August? Yeah, so basically. July, August? Well, we started rehearsing in July, so yeah. So people like when they're like <laughs> Christmas decorations are getting earlier and earlier, and I was like, yeah, try singing like White Christmas for I don't know the past oh, six months, my God. especially with Bryce Pinkham. I mean, it's awful. <laughs> his voice How is that sucks. Going? Oh, he's just. Uh, He's pretty great. No. <laughs> yes, no, he is. I honestly, like, you know, I um, am so fortunate that not only do I get one leading man, but I get two. Mm. And it happens to be Bryce Pinkham and Corbin Blue. So yeah, somebody, my job is really hard. Somebody specifically, Elise specifically, want to know what's it like working with Corbin Blue? Um, Corbin is, you know, he's just always in a bad mood. Um, and uh, <laughs> he just, you know, very unprofessional. Sorry, does sarcasm read via Facebook? I don't know if it does. No, Corbin is just, he's maybe the the, the sweetest yeah. person there is. Yeah. And uh, honestly, when we got, when we, Bryce, Corbin, and I met um, to do like a photo shoot right. a couple months before we started rehearsing. For the ads? That yeah, one, for all the ads. Like with your balloons yeah, right my the field. Balloons. And you actually were on a field in front of an old inn, right? Oh, like, yeah. That was shot like in Vermont or Oh, something. yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Green screen. Green screen. Hey. <laughs> but no, like, uh, after we were leaving, because uh, Bryce and I both live in Brooklyn, so we were sharing a car, and we kind of looked at each other, and we we're like, "Do we think he's actually that nice? Like, do we, or do we think that he just put that on, like, to meet us?" <laughs> and then we get to rehearsals, and he actually is that nice every day. Which I don't know what's it. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's just so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Peyton. Hi, Wants to know, what's your favorite thing about Peyton Cole? What's your favorite thing about the Holiday Inn slash White Christmas era? Oh, I think think the clothes. The Mm -hmm. clothes. Yeah. You look Um, good in those clothes. Thanks. Thanks. Um, I think it's, well, because here's the thing. I don't always look great in modern clothes. But classical clothes, I look really good. Okay, in. really? You're that, and you're can you, like can that I girl? say that? Can I say that about myself? Yes, because you can say you want. I feel like, well, no, that I'm like. Nice in this, though. Yeah, I mean, I look fine, but like, I no, but for me to be like, oh, you know, in old time clothes, like I look great. Oh, now, oh, no, no, but totally, you know what? Because yeah. it's this, it's the cinched at the waist right. kind of a thing, and yeah. that just does it, does it for well, me. Well, you can so. walk around like that. Yeah, and I do sometimes, but yeah. not all the time. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. want to be the girl that's always wearing the cinched waist stuff. Right, that's true. You know. Yeah, but I don't know. I like that girl. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll get into it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably um, close. Uh, uh, Billy wants to know something I want to know. Oh. What is your dream role? What You know, whenever I'm asked this question, uh, I, and I know this is kind of a little bit of an annoying answer. Okay, so you want somebody to write something original for you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like, why are you gonna? Why are you gonna ask me a question and then answer it yourself? I'm like, sorry. why are we doing this? What's your annoying answer? <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> like, what do you know? I've done a lot of interviews. What? What are you talking about? I interview people. Oh. I know. I know all the. No, like, no, the, but honestly, it's true. It's like yeah. it's. I like working on new stuff. Like, um, and e- well, that's not that's not totally because even with Follies, like it was a revival. Young Sally. Young she was Sally. young. She was young. Bernard Peters. <laughs> um, who's that? I don't know who that is. She's, um, she's a legend. <laughs> um, actually, speaking of cinched waist, yesterday I wore a great, like a really fantastic pair of pants that are cinched at the waist. Okay. More BPs. BP is burn it up yours. Um, Because, uh, like, maybe the best thing. I mean, like, sure, fine, singing Stephen Sondheim songs is fine, but. Right. Um, uh, maybe the best thing of that whole show is because Bernadette and I are exactly the same size and everything, so she just gave me bags of clothes. That's amazing. Yeah, so I get to walk around. So you have a lot of like, are they are they marked in any way? Do you know in any way that? No, but it was or? funny. Like when I would get when I would be like given clothes like shoes and stuff, people would be like, "Oh, like you should like really take care of those." Like I, I think some people were like even like thinking of like in this like little glass box. And I was yeah. like, "Are you kidding me? I'm wearing this." 
I'm wearing though. <laughs> <So I'm laughs> if you know, if you ever it. pass them on to anyone else, uh-huh. you're gonna have to like do that. It's gonna be a really careful selection of who gets that. That's true. But you should at some point. But no like, one will fit in because like we have very small feet. No one will fit into oh, them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, what, what size are your feet? Five. Oh my god! And wow. Have really, really. Little tiny. women, New York. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> any onstage mishaps happening over Holiday Inn? Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> you know we haven't we haven't really had too many. I feel like it's still like n- new enough that like we're um, you know s- right. s- still on our toes. And you still have two more months too. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. You're going to like January fifteenth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, the only thing, <laughs> the only like big mess- mishap, which actually was at first it wasn't funny, but. So, Studio 54 is a very old theater. Yes. And a lot so, of crazy things have happened in that place. Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell us about your times? <laughs> I'm okay. not at all. Okay. I missed that. Um, <laughs> but, um, so, it's a, so it's a small, it's a smaller theater, like, in terms of doing musicals and things like that. There's not a lot of space. So, yeah. especially in the flies. Okay. So, Holiday Inn, we have a lot of sets that come in, and the fly space just is very cramped. Hmm. So, um, in the beginning, when we were first, like, figuring stuff out, something happened where uh, two of the pieces, the set pieces that come in, got kind of tang- tangled. And, um... So it's, it's not scary. It's, it was, actually. <laughs> it's hilarious I now. know, but it's funny now. But so, anyways, like, there was a scene that Bryce and I are, like, we're riding this pallet on, and this, this set is changing. And so... It something it got tangled in a set piece from another scene, like was coming on, and so it's like coming in, and the way like it, it kind of like fell down, and it looked like it was like toppling on top of this us. Is no, I know it was. Yeah. So I, being the dramatic person that I am, like again, there's a full audience. I mean, I just like <laughs> full on screamed and like lunged, like just like <laughs> flew, like just did that. Wait, during you were on stage, you were visible, or full, you? Oh yeah, full. <laughs> like I literally came down. I was like, oh, duh! Like just did like this. Well, Bryce is still just sitting on the pallet, just like going through the scene because he could see he could see that it was still connected to the wires, like it wasn't gonna fall. <laughs> so I, in front of all these people, like literally just like lunged and like I'm like waiting for the stage manager or someone to call the show to be like, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna need a moment. So did you the scene get just off keeps off <laughs> yes, I was just like, okay, and Bryce is still just playing and I was like all right, so I mean, lo and behold, oh, they did finally God. call. And they're like, "Ladies and gentlemen, obviously there's an issue," but I I must have looked like a crazy person. I love it. But also, like, I looked at and Bryce was like, you know, I could see that we were okay. Like, don't I would always like protect you in those I'll moments. You, I'm yeah, Bryce. yeah, <laughs> I'll protect you. And I was like, y- you didn't protect like my like self worth. Like I just looked like a complete <laughs> idiot. Like, just don't. I know he could have like state. worked it into the scene. No, he could. Or he, he could have improvised something. Or he could have like I don't know maybe acted a little bit scared himself. He <laughs> right, was just he was like, like I'm no, good. I'm not kidding you. Like this huge set piece comes down, looks like it's gonna fall, and Bryce was like, "So I'm teaching her this song at Holiday <laughs> Inn, and everything's okay." Oh, oh my god, god. that's it's awful to work with. That's so amazing. <laughs> I love it. Um, speaking of the holidays, uh-huh. you are doing. You will be in the Macy's Day Parade, right? <laughs> Excited. Oh, little girl, little I girl really in like, am. I have wanted to be in the parade. I was born in New York. And so I went. I started going to the parade like every year since I was three. Though here's the thing. People are like, that's like so nice. But the thing is, is that before global warming, you know, when it was actually cold yeah. at this time of the year, um, I, uh, my parents, like they would bundle us all up and everything. It was actually like miserable. And like we, they would do is we would go with families and we'd bring like these huge ladders and put, uh, uh, um, wood beams over so we could see above you would, people. You did that? You were hardcore. No, my mom was hardcore. Like, oh we were God. hardcore. My mom was hardcore. So, uh, anyways, we're like these, like, little babies up here on this, like, thing that probably isn't safe. And we're so cold. And we're, like, sobbing. And it was, like, one of those things where, like, the parents, and again, when I say parents, I mean my mom, is literally, like, we're, like, we're crying. We're, like, we just want to go home. And she's, like, just sit there and have fun. You're having fun. <laughs> this is a memory you're going to have for the rest of your life. You, you know do. what I mean? And you do have that memory now. Don't do that. Thank God she's threw you up there. Yeah. That so, but dangerous anyways, plank. It's true. But So I've gone to, like, the braid every year, and I've never been in it. And this is all I want to do. So anyways, when I found out that we were going to do the braid, I figured there's two numbers that are going to do it. It's either going to be... Um, 
plenty to be thankful for right. where literally we have girls dressed in tur as turkeys right. and I'm not in that number right. or it's going to be Shane the Blues Way which is like our big number with the jump ropes and stuff yeah. which I'm also not in right. okay and so anyway so I found out we're getting in the parade and I texted Dennis Jones our choreographer yeah. and I said because again I wasn't sure which number it was going to be I was like I will do anything I will fluff the feathers of those turkeys I will pick up the jump ropes I, just put me in the parade that's all I want I'm in the parade. I'm not doing any of those things, but they plugged me in. So. But you're in it. They worked you in? Y yes. We're, we're so all... you're just going to be like, you're going to like casually walk out yeah, the, and you're going to be one of those? Yeah. I, I mean, basically, Corbin has like, they basically plugged in Corbin and Megan Sakor and I uh -huh. at the end. Like Corbin does a little tap thing and then Megan Sakor and I come on for like two seconds and we're like, and <sighs> even though we didn't do anything. So, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I so can't you have to get up super early? Yeah, but I'm still so excited. Excited. Yeah, like at six in the morning. And then where do you go eat? Uh, oh, where am I going to yeah, eat? Yeah, gonna have you know, so I was so like I said, I was born here, but yeah. my parents now live in Florida. Right. But so everyone is coming up, and oh. um, I don't know. Is your like, mom going to sit on a wood plank on top of two ladders? I, you know, I would put it <laughs> past. <laughs> like honestly, maybe that's what I should do. I feel I should be like, Mom, NBC was so sweet because NBC produces on a holiday and, and got you seats to watch the parade, <laughs> and then I'll just ladders <laughs> with a plank, and she's just going to sit there. Oh. Get, oh, payback. Well, oh. I can't wait to see you on, on the parade. Really? Yeah, I grew up watching that, and I'm excited to see people I like do it. Oh, That's fun. Thanks. But you're going to watch it from, like, TV, I'm, right? I'm going to watch it on DVR, yeah. Oh, After wow. the fact, I'm not getting up early. Wow, way to be such a I got to sleep then. Oh, nice. But I'll watch it. I will watch it. Nice. Everyone, everyone, so everyone, uh, we have to go, because clearly we could just spend a lot of time talking. I know. Um, this is Larley Geyer. She is in Holiday Inn. Come see With us. the cinched waists and every, all that. Oh, yeah, the cinched waists. Good waist. songs. <laughs> Sick of White Christmas, probably not. No, you, you, you never get sick of that song. You can't. You you just you can't. Never get sick it's of that really song. that beautiful. It is that it beautiful. Really is. Grown men are crying with at males Studio Fifty Four again. Yeah, honestly, like Grown men maybe we are should just do again at Studio Fifty Four because they probably did before, but on a different kind of sniffle. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. All right, oh, we so gotta good. go. Okay. We're gonna wrap it up. See the show; it's a lot of fun. Bye. And watch her on NBC on Thanksgiving morning, really early, or DVR. With my okay. sunscreens. <laughs> Thank you. Let's wait. Goodbye. Okay. See bye. you on Monday. Bye. bye.